Hey everyone, welcome back to the layout. Uh, this week, work continues in Mill Valley. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when I do scenery, I like to, I don't like to really have a completely finished scene and then next to it, an unfinished scene. So I like to kind of get everything to a certain level of completedness just to kind of keep the flow going. And then I come back and add more details and kind of get it completed. So right now, Mill Valley Motors, you know, last week parking lot, the sign over on the other side. Um, I did some weathering in between that video and this, just kind of some patches, you know, some oil leaking, whatever, in the parking spots. Um, some worn paths where, you know, forklifts and trucks are going, even a little bit back here as well. Try to get out of the shadow. So this, you know, yes, I need signs over the doors. I need to weather the garage doors a little bit more than what I've done. Um, I also need to add kind of a break area here, just a little bit of grass, which I need to do. That's coming, but I, I want to start focusing on the area that surrounds it. Um, so this week, so far, you know, I'm working on widening this road. It kind of got destroyed with the whole Mill Valley edit. Um, this crossing needed to be put in, which I've done that, you know, spackle up the sides and then very, very thin cardboard in between the rails. Um, just with my main lines, I don't like to put spackle there. It, it is a bit of a chore. So that's been done. What I want to do now is get into some ballasting in this area all the way through. And I also want to do a little scenery in this area. I'm thinking a little hill here just to kind of break the scene, make it not so flat leading into the facility. Um, and to kind of separate that road to kind of do a scene break. So that's what I'm going to do there. That's the plan for now to get started, um, see how far we get, and update you with some progress here. Alrighty guys, got the road sanded and painted. Got a couple of hills put in as well with um, some paint and some ground foam put on those just to kind of break the scene here between the town of Mill Valley and Mill Valley Motors over there. What I'm gonna do next is work on painting the lines on the road um, because, you know, this road leads into the town of Mill Valley over here, which is the first scene I ever really worked on, on the old layout. So it needs some attention. Kinda just wanna do it and revamp that a little bit while I do the road. So I'm just gonna focus on that while I'm doing this side of the tracks here. And then after that, I'll get into some ballasting. Um, so more to come. Obviously, the hills will be need bushes and trees on that. But I like to do that a little later, just when I'm done, you know, reaching over those hills to ballast in there. I don't want to be knocking trees over and things like that. So that'll come later. But for now, uh, giving you the idea of the terrain here uh, through Mill Valley. So lines on the road are next. I'll update you with the progress here in a little bit. Okay, we got lines on the road. All the way into town here and back into the backdrop. Um, went ahead and did a parking lot back here and also one in the distance over at Bellevue Station all the way up there. I'm not gonna walk around and show you that. That'll be nauseating. But um, tried a different technique and I want to I want to thank my buddy Dave at Crooked River and Eastern. Um, he had commented on my parking lot on Instagram, I believe it was, um, about using electrical tape and cutting it real narrow and whatnot. And so I gave it a shot and um, worked out pretty nice. I like it. I, I had never done that before, never thought of it. You know, it's one of those moments where you're like, duh, I should have thought of that. But Thank you, Dave. Um, yeah, I really like that. So I, I highly recommend, especially if you're doing a long area like this. I mean, the thought of taping it down and painting it, I was like, Ugh, I don't know about that. But this turned out pretty well. I was, I was a little worried that maybe the lines would be too um, clean. But as you see, I did some patchwork, 
and you know that's going to mess up the line a little bit on purpose and then i need to weather it as well you know that'll come as you know in the future too once this all dries but i think it's going to look pretty good so um, that's the update there on the road and now i've been putting it off a little bit but now i'm going to start ballasting um, you know i got to start there and all the way up through here I don't know if I have enough material. I don't think I do, but I'm just going to get started, see how far I go. Um, I do have some other colors of ballast, other mixtures that I like to use in the yard and on siding, so I might be able to dig into that a little bit here as well. So we will see, but next is ballasting. Okay, it's been a couple of days. And I started on this end and I've ballasted up through here. Try not to walk too quick. Through the crossing to there. And then all the way back over top my sump pump when I adjusted the track for this Mill Valley edit. Um, some of the ballast came loose back there and needed just really patched on the side. Um, one really cool thing about using Easy Track, which you guys know uh, I use, if you don't know, and you may be new to the channel, I, I use Bachman Easy Track. And when you rip up ballasted track, it kind of stays on. So when you relay these pieces, you're really just kind of going along the edge here to kind of tie everything together. So kind of a time saver there. Um, so I had to do a little bit of that back there. I have it all the way through the, that crossing complete. So I just have to go from that crossing through here. And obviously, you know, three different tracks here and then these um, spurs. But I'm out of material. So kind of at a waiting game here. I do have some coming. Um, so that'll be on the way in a few more days. But I think I will be able to include all of that on this update just because I have a little bit of time here as I pull back the curtain a little bit I I you know like a lot of people that do these updates you you film over several days so I have time um so the next clip here should show the remainder of this section ballasted and at that point we might be able to call this update complete so more to come once my shipment comes in. Okay, everybody, the materials arrived yesterday and I was able to finish ballasting. I had some time off and spent an entire afternoon down here just wrapping this up. Um, so all the track is now ballasted. Um, the spurs are, have a little bit different color to it just to make it look like they were patched and filled in and whatnot. So, you know, they look a little rougher than the main line and, and these, uh, you know, yard leads, I guess you would say. Um, so, looks a lot better to get the ballast down. I did do a little um, scenery patches here just to fill in um, to get rid of all the plywood. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I just, I don't know. After having the layout all ballasted the first time and then doing this edit, I just really did not want to see plywood anymore. So, and yeah, I do have a little bit going on in here that are going to get covered with bushes and trees and whatnot, um, but that'll be a later update. Uh, I have had some people ask, you know, because, you know, I've been pretty open about it. I do use Bachman Easy Track. If you're curious how I ballast, I do have a video up on that. Um, not super in-depth, but just kind of shows you a few things that I've learned along the way. So if you use Easy Track as well and, and want to know how I do it, feel free to hop over to that video. I will link it in the description as well so it's easy to find. So I, I have had some people reach out about that. So wanted to make that uh, aware to everyone. Um, yeah, like I said, trees, bushes, and all that are going to be coming, you know, for for these hills here and, you know, that little hill scenic divider type thing. Kind of try to tie it into the, the backdrop there. 
Um, but for this video, uh, you know, everything, you, the, the base layer is down, the, the building, you know, needs more detail, but it's, you know, it looks realistic enough to, for me to start taking my time a little bit more on those details. Um, but yeah, I think it's looking a lot better here and in the town of Mill Valley, getting some lines on the road and things like that. Just kind of spruce that up a little bit there for now but um more to come i do appreciate everyone watching these videos again i like to do layout updates about every week and a half or so um we'll see moving forward you know with materials and stuff what i decide to do um, but for now this stage i think we're going to call it complete and i might move on to some other things here in the future maybe some more rail fanning videos things of that nature so um if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so like i said like to do those updates like to do some rail fanning and i appreciate everybody's continued support and watching these and leaving your feedback and also i, I should mention got a lot of feedback on the building with other uh you, you know people that know a lot more about these buildings than i do i am i work in accounting i do not work at a you know a factory like this and so some people have left some comments on some details i can add and i i do really appreciate that because i i don't know what i'm doing so uh, anything that you can add i certainly don't take it the wrong way so feel free to interject but just wanted to make that known that i appreciate that as well so alrighty, i'm done rambling hope you enjoyed this video uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and there will be more coming in the future so for now, this is Jake from the Mill Valley Sub. We'll see you next time.